Hey, I'm Loco. And I'm Noko. Welcome to VEV. You might be wondering why two sock puppets have been entrusted to teach you about VEV. It's simple. We're here to take the board out of onboarding. That's right. And in this series, we'll show you how to create and publish your first project. This video will walk you through the design editor, exploring VEV's visual language, and hopefully giving you a good idea about where things live. And we've worked really hard to make VEV powerful, but yet really easy to use. For sure, it's a delicate balance, but there's always a learning curve when starting with a new tool. If you're familiar with other design tools, you may have noticed that there are generally two camps when it comes to design editor layouts, text-based and icon-based. At VEV, we're big fans of icon-based. So if you regularly use prototyping and design tools, VEV should feel really intuitive. Okay, it's time to show you around. Just looking at the design editor, you can divide it into four main sections. You'll find the layers panel for organizing your work on the left. It's a standard and familiar setup housing all of your project pages, pin content, and page content. The top bar is where the icon-based design is most obvious. Just hover over any icon for a description of what it does. To the left of this bar, you'll find things that you can add to your canvas. The plus icon represents the add menu. Clicking this will open VEV's extensive library of no-code components. And you might wonder what is components? It's the collective name we use for elements, sections, and add-ons. Some icons are super intuitive, like the quick link buttons for adding text, images, and videos. Let's take the image option. Clicking the icon lets you upload an image or select one from a stock image library. Clicking the down arrow lets you choose the type of image element you want to use. If you select an image type and add it to your canvas, you can double-click the element to replace the placeholder image. Next to it, you have the shapes icon, which lets you add a square or rectangle to your canvas. From the down arrow, you can see more shape options, such as circle. Open the shape library to add a custom SVG or select from a library of shapes. In the middle of the top bar, you'll find options to enhance or manage the elements or sections you've added to your canvas. The building blocks icon represents main components. Main components are the grouped sections and elements that you have saved for later use. This is a major time saver when you want to use components several times on your project without duplicating efforts or introducing inconsistencies. Now, let's say that you started your project with a video section, but later decided that a different section, perhaps an image section, might work a lot better. So instead of deleting the section and starting all over, Click on the double arrow icon to open the add menu and seamlessly swap the section out for a new one while leaving the elements on top intact. Easy peasy. Puzzled by the puzzle piece icon? Don't be. Much like adding pieces to a puzzle to create a cohesive picture, the add-on menu lets you add extra functionality to sections or elements to change how components look and behave. From experience, we can tell you getting this just right is as satisfying as gently tapping in the last piece of a thousand piece puzzle. Ding. And if that wasn't enough, native components in VEV come with default configurations. Double clicking an element or a section will open up the configuration module where you can customize components, which is great for features like 3D objects and share buttons. And to the right of the top bar, you'll find project viewing options, project settings, and the publish button. Zoom in and out of your project or click through the device page layout options to make sure your design is responsive. You can also drag the handles on the side of the canvas for more precise size options. And lastly, once you're ready to preview your project or if you wanna interact with animated or moving elements, simply click P on your keyboard or hit the I icon. Click anywhere on your canvas to reveal the styles panel on the right of your screen. Clicking a section or element will show the styling options specific to that component. However, if you click outside the canvas, it will open up some project settings like guides, colors, and layouts. And once you're ready to dive deeper into project settings, click the gear icon on the right of the top bar. If you happen to find yourself outside the design editor, you can always go back to your project from the back to editor link in the top left of the page. Congratulations, you've got the basic controls down. Suck puppets might have a brain made out of cotton, but we're still pretty smart, right? Right! And when you're ready, join us for a deep dive into the native no-code components in VEV.